Hi there. Do you remember that uh, movie about nightmares and the, about the snake scene that scared you so much as a child? No. I'm not talking about the 1987 film Dream Wars. I'm actually talking about one in 1984. A favorite of mine and uh, a lost classic brought back by Image Entertainment. Dreamscape. Dreamscape was an amazingly fun film. Starring Dennis Quaid, Max von Sydow, I guess, uh, Kate Capsha from uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. This also has Christopher Plummer, Eddie Elbert as the president, and uh, no, I can't remember the actor's name right now. It's the uh, David Patrick Kelly, I think. Don't quote me on that playing the psychopath. Uh, this is a unique film. It came out in 1984, around the same time that uh, that Nightmare on Elm Street did, and it again was about dreams. But it has it's not a Freddy-ish type film. It deals with the dream world and dream reality, but it doesn't end in a completely different way. Basically, what we have here is uh, Dennis Quaid's play, playing Alex Garner, and uh, his character has the ability to go into people's dreams, and uh, basically it affects it kind of like a uh, kind of like the Dream Warriors would be. Anyway, one of the big things that he does early on in the film is he uh, gets into a guy's dream that's uh, particularly terrified. And uh, what he's terrified of is uh, this, what he calls the Snake Man. And uh, that Snake Man will come, become more relevant in the movie later on. And uh, it was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, that, uh, that still scares me. Anyway, the whole idea is that, uh, he's working, uh, later on with, uh, higher-ups in the government, and he's kind of being blackmailed into trying to kill the president. It's a long story. He falls in love with the girl, played by Kate Capshaw, and, uh, decides that the best way to seduce her is to go into her dreams and, uh, Make love to her without a without a permission on a train. Yeah, probably not the best idea, but it works. Anyway, without telling you too much more about the film, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you let you know what's on the Image Entertainment DVD, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of background on this movie that you may not be aware of if you haven't seen it. Dreamscape is neck. It's a very fun visual film. And it's, a uh, It's different. Uh, directed by Joseph Rubin, and, uh, screenplay... One of the screenplay names is going to be very familiar to horror fans right here. That is, uh, Chuck Russell. Uh, Chuck Russell, who wrote the, uh, screenplay on this, also wrote the screenplay, and directed, by the way, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors, which uh, took a lot of stuff from there. Including, well, look at this. Yeah, that was Snake Freddy. Uh, apparently, it's something with snakes. It's freaking horrifying. It's more horrifying in Dreamscape than it is in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. But, uh, Everybody that's seen Eminem Street knows that Dream Warriors is the best out of all the films. I'm sorry. It is the best. And, uh, it, uh, got everything right. And, uh, a lot of that, I think, has to do with the fact that he made this film. Here, first, he wrote this thing. I mean, obviously, uh, he's one of, like, three or four screenwriters on it, but, uh, Chuck Russell, Russell's stamp is all over this film. Uh, once you see Dream Warriors, you know it's all over this film. Uh, this movie is, it's a great movie. The DVD itself has a uh, audio commentary with uh, Bruce Cohen Curtis, uh, that's the producer, writer David Lowry, and special effects artist Craig Reardon. As good as that is, I would love to hear what Chuck Russell had to say about this film, especially with the connection with Dream Wars. Also, there's behind-the-scenes special effects makeup, test reel, and still gallery. 
And as you can guess, that test reel of makeup is about a snake man. A terrifying snake man. Okay, let's pop this baby up and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh. Huh. So, you've given us pretty much generic black disc. And let's see if they do pop the turn on the poster on the other side. So it's it's pretty generic. It's a the art on here is actually pretty cool. As you can see the uh highlight the snake man again. Seriously, it's like just sleeping after watching this. It's freaking terrifying. Um Dreamscape is a great film. Uh the movie itself runs a hundred minutes, has some really great actors in it. Uh Get to see Chuck Russell doing this uh, Dream Warriors thing before Dream Warriors. You could call uh, Alex Garner the original Dream Warrior. And uh, Dreamscape is a fun film. It's not completely a horror film, but, uh, well, one more time. Still pretty horrifying. Uh, for the snake men alone, see this film. For the creepy romance, see this film. Well, for the actors, see this film. See, this is what Dennis Quaid would do once he uh, actually got into movies and was acting in them. I was being a complete dick so that uh, only his truck was seen and not Dennis Quaid in the movie Halloween. Oh, Google it. Anyway, Dreamscape, incredible film. Uh, Image Entertainment put this out. I recently got their uh, Blu-ray of Reanimator re as well. I found this at a at a shop that was closing down, and uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy to have this uh, back soon with more reviews. I hope you like this, and I hope you go and check out this film. And I hope Snake Man gives you better dreams than he did me. It's time for tea. See you later.